Okay, uh, with me today I've got one of the new FX Airgun radar chronographs. Uh, now the Tinsley Park Shooting Club purchased this one for club use. I should say Rob Taylor did, the chairman. Uh, he used it on the range the other day and it seemed to work out well. So what I thought I'd do today is bring it back to the workshop. I've got the Cold War Ballistic Chronograph and I've also got a Scan Ballistic Chronograph. And uh, what I thought I'd do is compare all three and see how close they are to each other. Uh, <clears throat> now... What we've also done, uh, it bought it from uh, JS Ramsbottom and it, it basically comes in a pack and you get, comes in a little box, but not this box, uh, and you get with it a little tripod, a bit flimsy really, uh, especially for standing near uh, your chronograph on. So what Rob made, he made a bracket for it and it's got just an L bracket, it's got an half inch hole in the top and basically on the end of your rifle you take your silencer off you can fit it on there. And then today we had another chap come along called John, he's a bit of an engineer and he's made a bracket up got a little pin on it so basically what you can do you screw screw the chronograph onto the bracket like that and you don't need a tripod all you need to do is put it on the end of the barrel if you've got an half inch thread uh, John also gives a, a dirty wash here, that goes on the top and then I've just got a thread protector, you screw that on. Now the ideal thing with this is once it's screwed on and lined up is that you can carry on doing your normal target shooting with the chronograph in place and you're not just wasting pellets shooting down range to read your chronograph you can actually shoot targets as well as read it so uh, that's a pretty good idea to do fairly straightforward i'm sure now a lot of people with the 3d printers will be making these uh, so call out to uh, steve allen of the Gunology. that's probably something you could do for your channel let's make some of those brackets it's pretty straightforward uh, or anybody could do it really just get an l bracket and Drill it out to fit your half inch uh, UNF thread. Uh, what else can I say about that? I have actually tested it. Uh, it was tested down at the range and they had really good results on the range. In the workshop, it has, I have fired a couple of shots and it's not actually registered at all, so it's not picked it up. Uh, maybe that's because there's not much distance between me and my. Uh, actual uh, back box the pellet catcher maybe that's the reason why uh, it's only if two and a half three feet away from the pellet catcher that could well be the reason why uh, so anyway it's fairly straightforward to use uh, all you need to do is download the software for it uh, I think it's called FX uh, chronograph if you look on the uh, the sites on the uh, like you can download the Android software or the uh, the Apple software for it.
Okay then, we're comparing the FX radar chrono to the Caldwell ballistic chrono to see what the, uh, the differences are. I've got a feeling that's all the pellets actually, so it's missed two out there. Yeah, it's caught them all on the Caldwell, and there's around a 21 feet per second difference there. Uh, <clears throat> a Caldwell ballistic chronograph is probably about 20 centimeters in front of the uh, the barrel. Whereas the uh, the FX uh, radar crony is probably about a centimetre in front. It's not going to make that much difference, I would have thought. Okay. So you, can, you can put it miles per hour, feet per second, kilometres per hour, metres per second, joules or foot pounds. Uh, these were the Webley VMX pills I was using. I'll load uh, eight more shots. And uh, we'll see what we get. That's quite, it's out quite a way, this is. Well, one of them is anyway. Yeah. Okay, then, next one. Uh, Cold was reading 564. Cold World's reading 563. Cold World's reading 564. Cold World is reading the same, it's uh, 564. Cold World's reading at 568. Cold World's reading at 561. Cold World's reading at 563. Could be the last one. Cold World's reading at 568. That's uh, two two readings that I've not had off the uh, FX. Again, I think that was the last one actually. Now, uh, yeah, that's all the pellets gone. So that's out quite a bit. Uh, yeah, interesting. Right, I'm going to try a different. Uh, chronograph on it now. Uh, I'm going to replace the Caldwell for the scan chronograph and we'll see how that one compares. Okay then we're on the second test now using the scan chronograph. Six 
51. That's the same. Same. Now the scan chronograph is approximately two feet in front of the barrel and they're reading the same so this is good. 554. 559. That's out a bit. 552. 554. 554. Oh, they're both consistent. 554. That was it. Okay, I'll put another eight through it. Well, that's the Scan Pro 1, and the Scan ones are pretty good chronographs. Uh, a lot of the retailers use them. Uh, I know Walker's a trial, they, uh, they use a Scan. <clears throat> okay, then. Second lot of eight. 547. Same. 547. One feet up. 536. Yeah. 543. Yeah. 500. 38 529 524 513 That's it. Okay then. So that is the uh, the FX compared to the scan chronograph. Uh, okay, I have got a another chronograph, uh, the Combro, which you put on the end of the barrel. So if I can find that, I'll compare that one as well. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try all three in tandem if it'll work. I've got the FX Chrono, Radar Chrono, I've got the Cold War Ballistic Chronograph and finally I've got the Scan. No reading. Oh, that's interesting. So the FX Crony didn't pick up uh, the last six, I don't think, on that one. It is connected. Okay then.
I think I will leave it at that.